SMP Nation. Welcome to a brand new episode of Takeover Tuesday. My name is Kennedy. Welcome back. And today we're working on something really fun because this actually came about just from back to school season and everything like that. Let me just move this down really quickly. And yeah, so that was kind of the inspiration for this week. But before we get started, I just have a few announcements that I want to go through really quickly before we start with today's episode. So first up, we do have SoFest coming up. Mark your calendars, September 11th through the 15th. I got my dates right. Got them all right. 11th through the 15th. We're streaming eight hours a day, so you can come in on our YouTube right here where you're watching me here on TakeOver Tuesday. You can come back during SoFest. It's going to be so much fun. All week long, we'll have education. We'll have tons of demos of new machines, tons of projects, and we're actually doing SoFest and possibly the rest of our festivals a little bit differently this year, so we're going to see how it goes and see how you guys like it and enjoy it, but it'll be fun. I'm certainly really excited. The main thing is we are giving our education sessions more time. So you'll have longer projects and longer education sessions, which is so much fun. You have to admit. So with SoFest, we do have a contest and we also have a dream studio, but that is purely for people who are watching and commenting the week of the show. If you've watched our other festivals, we normally will pick a finalist at the end of each day of somebody who's been watching and commenting and interacting with the show. And then at the end of the week, we have five finalists and then we draw from a hat and they win the dream studio. So that is how you win the dream studio. But with the garment contest, you guys all need to enter. I hope to see all of your names on the entries. I want to see all of your amazing projects, but this is a garment contest. And if you enter the week, I think it's like the week before and the week of the show, you're able to vote. And I actually want to say it's the week of the show. You can go vote two times a day for your favorite um, project that's on the SoFest entries. And the one that wins gets a really awesome prize. And you can share that website and share it with your friends and share it with everyone. So that way you guys get more votes. So highly recommend you enter the contest because there's always there's always something to win. And it's always something good because you know us at SMP. We're going to do it. We're going to give you the best of the best. We just have to. It's, it's what we do, you know. So, so fast, super exciting. I cannot wait. It's going to be here before we know it. It's like August 22nd right now, and then the 11th will be here in two seconds, I swear. So, with that, we've got that going on, so fast. Then, this week, we have a little surprise. So, this Thursday is SMP Live with Blaine Austin. <laughs> Pretend like it's cutting out. Blaine Austin isn't going to be here this Thursday, and I'm going to be hosting the show. So I hope to see all of you guys on Thursday at SMP Live. I've done it once before, maybe once or twice before, but this will be a new day and a new show. So I hope to see you all there. Blaine will be at the Baby Lock convention, and he is going to be getting all of the behind the scenes and all of the info back from Baby Lock's new machines and new launches and all the fun stuff going on over there across the way so he'll be gone but it'll be us and we can all hang out and do some fun stuff and look at some really cool machines so i'm excited i will see you guys on thursday but today's tuesday and here we have a fun project for you today so this project it actually came about like when did i make my first one i think i made it last week the point is i started school i am in college and so i started school on monday And I'm constantly using my laptop and I'm constantly using my iPad for school. And I was thinking, I'm like, man, I really wish, I really want a a laptop case or an iPad iPad case. So I looked on, you know, I looked online and I was going to go buy one and they were so expensive. It was kind of ridiculous how expensive they were. And I was looking at them and I'm like, you know what? I think I can do this myself because I'm looking at all of them. Majority of them are quilted. Um, They have a lot, you know, they have lots on Amazon and, you know, things like that. But I really wanted something that was going to protect my laptop and my iPad because they're expensive. So I made my own. And here is the iPad case. This one I used Batik's. And these are super, super simple to make. So all you got to do 
there's the iPad, super cute. And inside is just a lighter version of this fabric here. So that is the iPad case. And then I also want to step further and I recorded me making this one, but I also made a laptop case with some orange like zigzag quilting and this little green zipper. This fabric is from the Print Moda. So super exciting. This is just batik. You can get this anywhere. I got this from our San Marco store. Um, awesome. I think this is Hoffman. I'm pretty sure too. Um, so the batiks, this I printed. So this is some really cute little orange fabric. And I went ahead and just put a green zipper, which conveniently really matched the leaves really well. And I love it. It's so cute. Um, I'm obsessed with it. And the main thing we are using today and kind of like the highlight is Kimberbell's Flexi Foam. So I, when I started the project, I also didn't really go off a pattern. And this was my first time not really going off a pattern. So, which is nice because if you guys have different sizes and stuff, you don't have to go off a certain thing or a written measurements and things like that. It's kind of based off of whatever iPad size you have, computer size, and you'll see how I do it in a second. But with this one, um, the Kimberbell Flex Foam, when I was starting the project, I had the Kimberbell Flex Foam in front of me. And then I also had just normal 80-20 batting. And I was like, you know what? I think I want to try the flexi foam because the batting, it just felt a little too thin and I felt like it wasn't going to protect it enough. Like it, you know, in case anything happens, obviously this isn't going to go flying across the room or anything like that, but just to keep it safe in the screen and all that. So I tried the Kimberbell flex foam for the first time and it was amazing. Oh my gosh. Even quilting on it. I did do like a quilt sandwich type of situation and it was amazing. I was really scared that it was going to, um, you know, I was going to have problems with it because it's a lot thicker than normal batting. But my machine was perfectly fine with it, sewing it, quilting it, finishing it all up. It was amazing. So highly recommend if you um, haven't tried Flexi Foam or any more, any type of like more stiff um, batting situation, anything that you want to put in there. I highly recommend it now, and I have it now linked in the description box, so if you guys want to check it out, we have it on our website. You guys can go shop. Kimberbell has some great products, and I specifically love Kimberbell because Kim, who is the founder and, you know, is super involved with all of the creative process and all of that stuff, she really, she is an embroiderer, and so she is constantly making products that us embroiderers and crafters need like it's it's so essential and I am always reaching for all of her products and things like that so highly recommend checking it out on our website we have tons of Kimberbell stuff you can go check out and if you're local we also have a lot of Kimberbell classes we do Kimberbell events we do um lots of um in the hoop classes if you guys were ever interested so that is awesome. We love Kimberbell. She's great. So yes, we are going to be making this today. These two, I am obsessed. I kind of wish now that I'm looking at them both, I wanted to make two different ones mainly because I had two different zippers and also it perfectly matched my nail color today, which is, I didn't even plan that, but I had two different color zippers. So I'm like, okay, I can't really match them, but I can do each different thing, right? I can make two different ones and it's okay if they don't match. But now that I'm looking at them, I'm like, oh, I wish I had like an orange and then maybe like a lemon one, you know, but it's okay. We can always make another one. So that is what we're working on today. But again, if you guys have any questions, I'm going to go ahead and play the video in just a second. But if you have any questions, I will be behind the scenes here to answer for you. And any of the products that you guys were watching that I used in the video today are available on our website, sewingmachinesplus.com. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with today's video, and I will see you guys back in just a few minutes. All right, I will be back soon. See ya. Bye.
what did you guys think oh my goodness this project was so much fun and i will be honest i said it at the beginning but i did not go off of a pattern so this was purely just me kind of like i got i had the idea of like oh let me make my own let me do this myself and so i just kind of started so if there's any critiques you have please let me know i'm always here for constructive criticism um but one thing i will say learning how to make zippers did take me a long time like a long time um lots of frustration lots of I don't know what I'm doing but now that I have the hang of it I really do enjoy putting on zippers I do it just takes time and practice that's all but one thing I do recommend if you are struggling with zippers I love zippers by the yard I don't know why it became it just was easier for me to do it that way but if you guys are working with zippers right now and maybe you're frustrated, I do really like zippers by the yard and they're a great option, especially if you're making projects. Like if you wanted to make a bunch of these, I would definitely recommend getting some zipper by the yard. It's a way more, it's way less expensive than just buying normal zippers and it lasts you a lot longer. So highly recommend that. And I know a lot of people have said um, zippers by the yard before. I've seen a lot of your guys' recommendations and yes, I agree. And I did see a comment, there was no pattern, but I'm sure you can look up one if you wanted more exact measurements. I, what I did to make sure I had enough room on the size, I left about one, anywhere from one inches, depending on how, how tight and secure you want it. I left about one, maybe one and a half inches on each side. So I would lay my iPad down and then measure one and a half inches out of it. And then I would cut those. So it's also nice too, because those were just fabric scraps that I had. I had a couple um, fat quarters left over from a bundle, a fat quarter bundle that I got from our San Marcos store. And I had two of them left and I was like, you know what? I'll just do this. How awesome would it be just to chop it up and get it good? So it turned out great, super exciting. And yeah, if you guys have anybody around you, maybe kids, grandkids, we do sell zippers by the yard. If you just look up on our website, zippers by the yard, we have tons of options for you. Um, but if you have kids, grandkids, you're going back to school, whatever the case may be, um, these are super convenient. And also, I do know Kindles too. I I love, Kindles are awesome. I love it. But Kindle, you can also make this for the Kindle, anything really. If you just measure the size that you want and then just follow the steps that I did in the video, you'll have your own little case for anything, which is awesome. I don't know what else you could put in here. Maybe you could do a phone. Somebody had a great idea. I think it was Teresa. She, Teresa Castillo, I want to say, she said to put a buttonhole at the bottom and then you can put your charger in there. And how awesome is that? If you want to just keep it protected, but say like you want to just charge it before you go somewhere. That's pretty awesome. I loved that idea. I think that is amazing. But yeah, this was super fun to make. And especially with the print moda version. I love this one. I always show this to people. I'm like, this, one's my favorite. this one, but this it's also because I printed it and it's, you know, it's way more. I don't know. I just like this one a lot. I feel like there's two different, two different people will like these, right? <laughs> But yeah, super fun, super easy. And you can make this for anyone, really. I mean, again, you can do tablets, laptops. Um, what else? Nintendo Switch. Nintendo Switches. Anybody know? Anybody know those? The little gaming consoles. You could do it for those to keep them protected. There's lots of things. So it's mainly just whatever you need to protect with a little case. Love it make it right away. And then you're good to go. I know a lot of people are traveling right now too. So really convenient for going on planes and things like that, just keeping all your technology together and protected. That's the most important thing. Christy has a switch. I have a switch too. I love my switch. It's so much fun. You guys should get a switch and then we can all play video games, SMP nation video games. <laughs> that would be awesome. Oh my goodness. Yeah. They're super fun and easy. And the whole adding the pocket and maybe even a pocket on the outside for chargers or anything like that. Great idea. I'd love to see all of your guys' variations if you do try it. But yes, love it. So yeah, that was the little tutorial for today. But please let me know what you guys want to see next. I'm always looking at your guys' ideas and recommendations of what you guys want to see next. Because I want to push my limits. So I want to try things that aren't in my comfort zone because I feel like that's what happens with me is I will 
make something and then I'm like, okay, this I can do and I can nail it, right? I can get it done and correct and I can finish it and it looks good. And then I stay there and then I don't try new products, projects. So if you guys have any fun ideas that you want me to try or anything like that, I'm not alone today. Roger's right there. Say hi, Roger. They thought I was alone. Kyle's gone. I don't know where he's at, but I'm not alone. Don't worry. But yeah, let me know if you guys have any other things. If you guys want to see more stuff with the print moda, I want to still do projects, like obviously not with the print moda because I know not everybody has one. So I want to make sure that all of my projects can be done anywhere with any machine. That's kind of my goal. Um, so if you guys have any recommendations, let me know. And yeah, that's that's about it from me today. But we are going to get into the giveaways. Of course, I would never leave you without giving some stuff away. So let me share my screen really quick. I won't play some music. Of course. Of course. Guys, come on. So let me get this. Let's get our music going. Okay. And now I'm going to share my screen. I'm getting ahead of myself here. Um... Let's see what we are going to give a white suit day. <gasps> oh, Diane had a good idea. Sorry, before I did giveaways. <laughs> I'm like the energizer bunny. I'm, I'm Anything will catch my attention. Um, Diane said advent projects for November and December. I want to do that so bad. I've been thinking about doing maybe like a sew along or something like that. I don't know, but I want to make sure that I can show you guys correctly right I want to make sure that I'm up to par and I can do it so I'm sure in the next couple months I'll still be doing stuff and I'll have all of my skills set in stone but absolutely I'd be so open to it my birthday is in November so maybe we can do like a birthday project for that week too my birthday might be on a takeover Tuesday actually now that I think about it it was on Cyber Monday last year so I think it might be on Tuesday this year which means I gotta get planning because we're gonna do a fun show and that's the case okay we're getting off topic you guys so first thing I want to give away today of course are the SMP so mats they are amazing and you know what what we just made today with our tablets and our laptops is kind of like a so mat for your electronics right because it's protecting it so if you don't make one of these and watch this video today and make one of these you're doing your technology and your laptop and your computer a disservice <laughs> there we go in the name of blaine so i'm gonna give away two of these today and if you do win you can pick whatever color and whatever size that you want and we will ship that right to your doorstep so let's see who is going to win today let's spin Bum, bum, bum. My birthday is the 28th for whoever was asking up there. Who was it? Who was it? Linda Jacobs. Woohoo. Congratulations. You have just won a SOMAT of your own. So if you would like to claim that prize, let me put that website up there for you. Head to smplive.tv and go to the bottom of the page and Fill out all of that information and we will get that out to you. And just let us know what color and what size you want. Congratulations, Linda. Okay, let's spin one more time. One more. Dun, 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 dun. Let's see. Debbie Poole, congratulations. You have just won a SOMAT of your own. So if you would like to claim that prize, go ahead and head to smplive.tv. Scroll down to the bottom of the page, fill out all the information, let us know what color and size you want, and we will get that shipped out to you. Okay, next up, we are going to do some gift cards today. So first up, we do have a $100 gift card. So if you do win this, you can go pick up some Flexi Foam. You can go get $100 off of a big order if you're getting a machine or something like that. I don't know. It's up to you. That's $100 to SewingMachinesPlus.com that you can use to get anything. Needles, threads, bobbins, whatever you're stocking up on, it's good and ready to go for you. So let's go ahead and get back over here and spin and see who's going to win this $100 gift card. I love, listen guys, I love gift cards. They're the best. I'm sure you guys will agree. They are amazing. Dorothy Belcher, congratulations. You just won a $100 gift card so if you would like to claim that all you got to do is go to smplive.tv 
and fill up the information. The most important thing that we need for this gift card is your email because we'll be sending you a code, a gift card code. So that way when you go shopping, you just at checkout, insert that code, and it'll take $100 off for you. Okay, and I'm not done yet here, okay? I'm not done. We're going to do a $50 gift card. I need to make a little thing for that like I did with the $100 one. We're going to do a $50 gift card. So who's going to be the winner winner chicken dinner today? Today, today, today. Let's see. Arlene Bordeaux, congratulations. You have just won a $50 gift card to Sewing Machines Plus. I am so excited. If you would like to claim that prize, head to smplive.tv, fill up the information. Again, the most important thing that we do need from you is just your email so we can send you that gift card code and then you can redeem it just while you are checking out. How cool is that, guys? Oh, I love it. I love it when I just feel like I'm giving things away. It's the best. All right, you guys. Well, with all of that, I also want to say quickly, I hope everybody, everybody is staying safe and is okay during all this weather stuff going on. Um, California, as you know, as you may, may or may not know, we are in San Diego. Our home office and corporate office are in San Diego. And we had, I think, like one of the first hurricanes, tropical storms come in almost 100 years, I think. Something like that. So if you're in California, I hope everybody was okay. In where I live, it wasn't too bad. Um, and it was over the weekend, so we were all at home safe. But unfortunately, you guys all have to keep Kyle in your thoughts and prayers because his garden did get a little messed up. So we're going to pray and hope that his garden gets revived and back to normal. But yes, I hope everybody is staying safe and staying you know, inside or where you can. Um, I've seen a lot of people in the comments saying that they are having some crazy weather going on in Texas and where else I saw a lot of stuff, but I hope everybody's doing okay. You guys are the best and I don't want anything to happen to you guys. You guys, I love you guys so much. So I don't want anything to happen, but Camille said she just moved out of California just in time. Yeah, it was crazy. Here's the thing though with California. I go, it was Saturday, I think. And I, you know, the store, I guess the storm was like just about to come in because it was Saturday and Sunday. I think that it was the worst days. And we had an earthquake apparently. Oh my goodness. There was just too much going on. But I looked on the news and all the surfers are out. <laughs> so in California, when we hear tropical storm, we think let's go catch some waves. So I thought that was so funny and so California. So just thought I'd share that with you guys. But yes. All right, you guys. Well, I am going to go ahead and head out. See, I think you guys are all getting, yeah, everybody's getting some some sort of Hurricane Hillary aftermath, which is crazy. Um, yeah, Christy, we had, I'm scared of, terif I'm terrified of earthquakes too, but I didn't even feel it when we had it. And then I got a text two seconds later, like, did you feel the earthquake? I don't know, guys. Who knows? Who knows? But I hope everybody is staying safe and good and you're all in good health. And if you don't have anything to do while you're stuck inside, I gave you some ideas right here. So. Go ahead and start working on them and then post them in the Facebook group because I want to see them all. So, yes. Alrighty. Well, I'm going to get out of here for reals now. I'm not going to stop yapping and going on. But I hope you all have an amazing rest of your day and rest of your week. And if you guys have any questions in the future, just reach out to us on the Facebook group or just on our socials. And we are happy to help you out. But, again, I will see you guys on Thursday. It'll just be you and I. We'll just be hanging out again. So I will see you very soon. And yeah, that's it. All right. I'm out of here. Have a wonderful day, you guys. Bye.